morale been in the squad this week after Friday night's result? Yeah, as you can imagine, everyone's everyone's upbeat, everyone's buzzing. Obviously, we got to see the draw as well on Monday, so now uh, everyone's upbeat. But look, we're down and concentrating on uh, Saturday against Queen's Park. Obviously, the focus is on the league until that semi-final. But is there a lot of thought going into that? Even though it is, you know, maybe second thought to the league at the moment. Yeah, no, you're right. We've, look, we've got to concentrate on the games beforehand. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's in the back of back of many many players, supporters, staff, everyone's head. But from now till then, I think we've got to, got to knuckle down on the games beforehand. And, and as the time gets closer, I'm sure we'll do a lot more work towards that game. Are you hoping it'll help kind of kick on? I suppose a, a kind of good run of form for the last remaining games of the league season. Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't see why not. Um, look, it's going to be a big occasion, so I don't see why uh, why it's not going to going to spur us on and hopefully kick us on in the league. Um, Look, every player's every player's now on back fit now as well. We've got a lot a good a good thing to look forward to uh, with Hamden, but uh, these league games might be vital for players to get to get minutes and get opportunities to to get in the gaffer's head, I suppose, and, uh, and be available for selection. Yeah, just on that on the squad, obviously, you know, Roddy McGregor was one of the ones who came on on, on Friday. How much uh, do you feel going into these last few games with her? You know, after that season of obviously quite a few injury problems. You know, how do you feel going into the last few games with that? Yeah, I think it, uh, it brings a lot more confidence. It gives a lot more options. It gives a lot more, um, a lot more fighting for shirts, I suppose. Um, obviously, we've got a full bus, which hasn't been hasn't been often, um, and everyone's back together training. It's nice to see all the boys enjoying themselves in training and putting in the work instead of instead of having the boys maybe maybe doing a bit of work with the physio, etc. So now, as a squad, as collective and players, I think everyone's. Everyone's mucked right in, and we all we're all ready to go and, and and see where it takes us. Just finally, obviously, it doesn't get much more difficult than the league leaders. How what are you expecting from Queens Park? No, nah, look, we know they're a good side. We know that they know that the, the, sorry, we know they're a good side. And they know that uh, they try to pass the ball. Um, obviously, they're up there because they've been probably the most consistent this year. So we've got to maybe take take the last few the last few games and the last few uh, performances into Saturday and. Um, with the game plan that we're going to be set up, set up to do and, and hopefully we can come away with a positive result because I think with the last what nine games left of the season we need to look at every one as a, as a kind of a cup final and try to take as many points as we can from every single game so um, it's one that we're going to look forward to and yeah let's let's go down there and try and take all three points Can't for that. Excuse me Showed um, on Friday again on the television, you know, what a good team Everest come out of this are. And, and you particularly show what a great player you are as well. You've had two big tastes of beating uh, top flight teams this year. What a week to finish the season by driving yourself into the playoffs and getting a taste of, of Premiership football next season. It's, it's all there to play for, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, like I just said, there nine games to go in, and a, and a Hamden Hamden a semi final with a chance to to obviously go to a final. I think every player in there is maybe, uh, like every player in there should be chopping up a bit to get through every game to try and get us to them playoffs and and obviously have that that big occasion to look forward to. Personally, myself, I I think there's no better position to be in as a as a player. Yeah, I know we're a little bit behind the playoffs, but Look, it's only going to make it sweeter if we kind of get the playoffs and and then have that good good deal at hand. We we're just talking about the Highland League and how it's shaping up there, and the big word is always momentum. If you can build that momentum, you'll be an absolute steam train going into those final games. Yeah, hundred percent. And I think maybe last year we done the same. Uh, after Christmas, we 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 obviously had that little spell where we didn't didn't go on a, a good run of form, and then we picked up towards the end of the season and we give give the playoffs a real good go. Obviously, we ended up forty five minutes away from the Premier League, but it just shows how big momentum is. Uh, and obviously, we've just got to build on the last few results that we've done, uh, and let's see where it takes us. <coughs> Very best of luck. Tough game, but it's going to be a cracker, I'm sure. Thank you very much. Anyway, just a quick one from me. I mean, the Mitchell three have been sort of pivotal in the last sort of two games, getting those two big victories. How much have you enjoyed being back in the middle of the park? Because you've been immense the last couple of weeks. Yeah, no, I'm loving it. Uh, I am. I'm loving it. Obviously, I've I've done a stint at right back, and and now I'm maybe getting my chance in in my um, favoured role. 
um, and I've just got to just got to keep doing that. I've got to try and keep keep the shirt and uh, keep putting in performances like we have been doing. I think the three of us have have really uh, compensated for each other. We all bring something different to the team, and yeah, it's working. So long may that continue. And is that one quick one? But the fans last Friday were superb. How much did that drive you boys on? Because they they like a Friday night under the lights, don't they? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, look, we've said it. We've said it many a times. Uh, there, there are 12th man at times and uh, I'm sure on Friday night there were um, and we just want that to continue. I think I said it last year towards the playoffs, if if we have them coming in and pushing our, pushing the boys on then they're going to make a real difference. So from now at the end of the season we can only we can only uh, ask for them to maybe do, do the same and, and then we need to make sure that we put the show on the pitch. Yeah, we can love Saturday night. Cheers, thanks.